Hey guys, welcome. I'm Christine. I'm owner and content creator of BloomingBrilliant.net, where I share educational resources, parenting advice, and of course, information about homeschooling. I'm a homeschool mom of two, and I homeschool my 12-year-old daughter and my 8-year-old son, who I'm hiding from right now in the bathroom. Um, I just want to share a couple of tips for homeschool planning, because I was looking through my notes, and I don't know if I hit these two things. So, number one is to make sure to go over all, like, your supplies and everything and make sure you're organized and I think I mentioned this like make sure you know where all your stuff is but just organizing them and knowing where everything is really does help you when you're actually in the middle of a lesson and then other thing is to make sure that you have some list set out for any kind of unit studies or any kind of lessons or assignments or projects really that you plan on doing in your homeschool beforehand. So even if you do this every week and review all the plans that you have for that week of what you're going to do and then setting a list for this next week to come of all the supplies you'll need or any materials that you'll need and making sure you have it in the house will be so helpful because I don't know how many times that I've decided, oh, let's do this fun thing. And then I look and then we don't, we're missing that one thing. We have to either run to the store or I have to order it. And it kind of like throws a wrench in our whole plan. So that's just a couple of tips to make sure that you are, you know, that you have in your little tool pack or tool bag or whatever, tool belt. Um for your homeschool plan so those are some tips make sure you like I, I try this is what I try to do for my homeschool planning I try to do a major plan and I'm still working on a major plan because everything has been a little hectic and I want to alter things a little bit but you work I work on a major plan I have each day as like a certain sub, special subject and then our regular daily activities and then I also like to every week at the end of the week, so whether it's Friday or if I'm really late on the planning thing, I'll do it on Sunday and I'll like review what needs to be done for that week, make any copies because I make copies of our curriculum so both AJ and Bella can use the curriculum. So like Bella has used some of the curriculum AJ has used in the past. So that's why I make copies of everything so not everything is written written on and yeah or I'll print anything that needs to be printed and I'll review anything that they have done and like mark it down that they did it or grade it or whatever I have to do to make sure that I'm like knowing what they're doing and yeah so those are and so I do that at the end of each week and then quarterly I kind of alternate our plans or like adjust our plans really and the same thing monthly I'll like adjust so if things have to move on to the next month then I adjust my plan accordingly. So I hope that helps. I hope that makes sense and it really took a lot to make this video because I wasn't going to make a video at all. I just felt kind of crappy and I look kind of crappy and I just didn't want to do it but I said let me do it. So here I am hiding in my bathroom getting it done. Alrighty I'll see you guys tomorrow hopefully feeling and looking better. I don't know. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.